Hey everyone, and happy holidays. You all know me, Jinko Anishima. I know this is out of character for me, I'm not, you know, really into the spirit of anything holly jolly, but it's Christmas time, and I have this beautiful light up sweater, so I figured I'd make the best of it. So today, we're gonna to be making Christmas cookies. Courtesy of Mugro, she laid out everything we need. I can give you a little rundown of that. It should be really easy, and if I make a mess, I'll just have her clean it up. I was gonna put poison in that, but she forgot it, apparently. So the first step in any good cookie-making process is, of course, turning on the oven. It's as easy as that. Let's show the setup of all of the supplies you will need to make my famous Christmas cookie recipe. It's actually really easy because we know I don't do hard work. Um, that looks like the poison. You need uh, four cups of flour, half a teaspoon of baking powder, half a cup of sugar, one egg, you know, kind of looks like Makoto, some butter. Yeah, you need a cup of butter and a nice bowl to, you know, hit it all together in. Vanilla extract, nice whisk, I can hit my girl with it. Frosting, sprinkles, and then some fun shapes. Who doesn't like shapes? So I'm gonna make some really despair-inducing cookies. I am changing this up. Hey guys, I hope the oven explodes. That'd be really funny. So for starters, you know, semi-clean bowl. You don't really need to be so clean because you're poisoning people with these. You start with the butter and sugar. Uh, so we're gonna be doing it says we have to let this dough chill i'm a busy woman i've got a lot of despair to cause so we're gonna move fast um, so i put the butter in there come on i should be on food network i'm literally so scared ah so scary this could be a little loud i think um plug your ears i guess I don't think that's supposed to happen. I think we're there. Now, here's my Makoto, my egg. Watch my chef skills. No shell, no shell. Oh, that almost missed. And then we're adding some vanilla extract. I like a lot, so. Oh, it's gonna be really vanilla. It looks like scrambled eggs. For recommending to eat anything or pretty much to do anything that I do, so maybe just don't listen to me. This is so much more despair inducing than I thought it would be. This is not. Oh, it is. I can eat it. Oh. That is a weird texture. Is this light? Look at that. Me a lot of despair. No! I'd say I did an amazing job, but now I'm gonna test out the dough. Don't try this at home or whatever. Here, what, how do I? No! Do I just go for it? I'm no, I'm not scared. So I don't have a rolling pin, but I do have this, and that's what we're gonna do. It's um not quite what I pictured. Mugro is going to love these. I'm gonna give her like one, maybe two. Oh, I did it. Look at that. That is so perfect. Just like me. Oh no, I just decapitated one of these. Oh, look at that snowflake. Wow. No! doing something. I don't know if it's right, but they're doing something. So there's good news and bad news. I think if you look at them, you can see what's the good news and what's the bad news. Some of them just burned, but some of them are pretty good. So let's just add another batch. This one looks so good. This one looks really good. SHUT UP! 
So update, they're going really well actually. I only had to abandon one, which is better than I anticipated. Update, the last batch came out and I feel like a mother. Not gonna lie, some of these are really ugly, but look at the gingerbread people. Kind of adorable. While they cool a little more, I'm gonna set up the royal frosting thing. It says to remove the cap and microwave. So you can let it go for 10 seconds. This is plastic though. I don't think you're supposed to put I'm just doing it because need a bottle carefully. It's icing time. Let's how am I gonna do this? I look really happy holidays. I'm just here baking. I hope they taste good because it's going to be pointless if I made all these and don't eat them. If they taste bad, I can go around and give them to like all my classmates. SHUT UP! And then it'll cause despair. Um, I think we're just going to get into it. Um. It's like nighttime, but the cookies are finally, you know, done and cool and I can't really tilt them, but they look really kind of awful. I'm gonna eat them now on camera. Here's the first one. We're starting off with a snowflake. Mm -mm. That's good. You wanna know why that's good? It's not too sweet. It's a little salty, savory, delicious. I'm not feeling any despair from it, and if I'm not getting the despair from it, then what's the point? I'm moving on to the shoe stocking thing. Mmm! Make this right now. Make it now. Here's my sad, despair-filled gingerbread person. I stabbed it. E for Enoshima. Target practice. It's outro time. I just wanted to thank everyone for joining me as I made these despair-inducing cookies. I appreciate every one of you who is on my channel. Make sure you're subscribed so that you never miss another Jingo and Shima. Thanks, cooks, vlogs, you know, everything that I do. I hope you all have a very happy holiday season and spread despair in all that you do. Have a despair-filled rest of your day. Peace out.